So you're gonna help Jason and I deploy various pieces of gear. You're gonna get your hands wet and muddy. Make sure that you have a, a good day. The Blue Heron is the University of Minnesota's research vessel. It uh, belongs to the regents of the University of Minnesota. And we go out on all the Great Lakes and we mostly do research work, but we also do things like what we're gonna to do today, which is take a class out and uh, show them research on the Great Lakes. So purpose, what is a CTD? You should write it, write it out and say, what is it used for? And how does it work? So the group I've got out here today is uh, mainly environmental science majors. First thing we're gonna do is deploy this device right here. This is called the CTD. Conductivity, temperature, and depth. The students will learn about how scientists monitor and characterize what's going on in the lake through the different tools and um, get some of the sediment from the bottom, get some of the water from the lake and look at it and have that hands-on experience. Everyone stick your fingers in there. And... But I do encourage you to check out the difference in temperature. All right, so we're gonna do some, a suite of sediment sampling gear. What we are doing is shoving straws into the lake. That's what we're going to do. For the students going out today, they very well may be those scientists collecting data. So this will be their first exposure to um, field sampling. So what I'm doing is mimicking kind of what you would have in the lab in the fact that you would have one half that you would work on and then one half that would be archived. They're out uh, collecting the water they're out collecting the sediment, looking at the sediment, getting their hands dirty. They, they are seeing methods of how to properly collect data. They're, they're seeing uh, real-time data come up on the computer screens from sensors that we have deployed in the water. So they, uh, th this is a, a, a real-world exercise. Then over here in the lower left, this is our Knutson, so basically a fancy fish finder. It surprised me that um, when we were looking at the oxygen levels in the lake that it was the saturation was above 100 percent and I kind of wasn't sure of, like what that meant exactly and I didn't really realize that it could be above 100 percent but they said it was because um, since there's so little organisms in the lake that consume oxygen the organisms that produce the oxygen just keep producing oxygen but there's not anything consuming it so it just kind of like hangs out in the lake before it goes out into the atmosphere. And that was pretty cool to learn. We, they've had students come back to them and say, yeah, that trip on the, the Blue Heron, that's why I went into, uh, into the field that I was, was in. And that's, that's, the, that's the greatest compliment you can have.